I just want to take a minute and show you folks an American chestnut uh, growing here in Newtown. Uh, I'm actually on the sidewalk right across the street from the old police station uh, for, any, for any locals. Um, but I was walking around uh, last week and I just out of the corner of my eye caught this one, so I thought I'd show you folks um, if anybody's interested. I made a video about American chestnuts um, before, but what happens is, is uh, there's a blight that gets to them. So usually once they get to be, um, you know, anywhere from four to six inches in diameter or less, this blight gets to them and kills them. And this has been happening since the early 1900s. So usually if you see one, it'll be a younger tree. If you see one, it'll be a younger tree. There is also a Chinese chestnut, which looks very similar to but different than an American chestnut. Um, but if you take a look here, you know, you'll see that we have the, um, the green leaves on the chestnut, but it looks like the blight already got to, to this stalk up here. You know, it'll, it'll eventually just get to the stem, whack the stem and anything above it'll die, and then the tree will keep suckering. And it's kind of amazing because, you know, it's, it's probably close to, if not, a hundred years since the blight happened, and we're still, these trees are still suckering, you know, and hopefully there's some out there somewhere that are resistant to the blight and, and can spread around. But let me just show you, I went to the um, acf.org, the American Chestnut Foundation.org, and uh, printed out this page on identifying an American chestnut. And uh, if you look at the list here, it says, um, you know, pronounced leaf hooks. So when you look at the leaf of the American chestnut, there's like a little hook right on the end of these leaves. That's one side. Um, reddish brown stem. So look at our stem here, and you see the color of it. It's got that reddish brown color. Um, boat shaped leaves, not really sure. The American chestnut leaves are usually longer, which I guess would be boat shaped. You know, the Chinese chestnut, uh, the leaves are, are usually rounder and they don't have the leaf hooks. Um, and then there was one more, a small or a non-existent petiole. So, so looking at this sugar maple, so looking at this sugar maple uh, right here, the petiole is the part of the leaf from where the leaf starts, you know, from the branch to the leaf. You see how long that is? So on this American chestnut, there really is no, there really is no petiole there. American chestnuts, long story short, is they all die before they set fruit, the American chestnut. But if you have a Chinese chestnut, and it may be, you know, the, um, the one in a million that's an American chestnut, but um, the, when, when the Chinese chestnut gives the seed, or the American chestnut, it's covered in, in these really, really spiky things that are just so annoying. Um, so that's how you recognize a chestnut. And then, if you see them, look at the leaves, and pretty much every time it's gonna be uh, a Chinese chestnut. But if you see any of the characteristics I just mentioned here, it could be an American chestnut, and you know, you may have just um, just hit the jackpot for, for finding a way to keep the species going. Take care, folks.